thing which is eating the bitter leaf is within the bitter leaf. Those were the exact words of the seer. Is it not now very clear that Lotanna is the cause of all these things? Do you call yourself a hunter or a huku? How are you sure? Am I the seer? I said the seer said, not me. Mbanefu, if you thought him, who else? I wonder. Eh? Look, I mean, someone who threatened his father and brother with the do. And he defended them. Oh no, we cannot fold our hands and continue to see things go wrong in this kingdom. No. At all. And oh no, the way you and the GM Banefu are going about these things, I'm beginning to sense sentiment in this. And if you fail to do something, oh no, if you fail to act, we are going to take this matter to the governor. A hunter and a gada. Mm -hmm. How do you people raise him? What has come over you? Best of the same feathers that flock together. Sure. That's sure. what you are. Uh -huh. It has not gotten to that. Let me tell you. We all know that Lotana and his father were long ahead. But that doesn't mean that he inflicted anything on them. After all, these are mere rumors. No one caught him red-handed. You should know that. Ichi Mbanefu, you don't need to get close enough to the he goat to find out that it smells. <laughs> we need to do something now. That's what I'm saying. Oh no, you've been keeping quiet. This is your call. What is your verdict? What is your verdict? Why are you attacking him like that? Well, elders, yes. prepare. Tomorrow we will take Prince Lutana to the river of Ogugu for oath taking. Hmm? Now you are talking. Why? Now hmm? you are talking. This is what you would have done since. Is it okay now? Ah, uh, very, Not very okay. okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, but you know, you elders have to excuse me. I'll be going to Umwe Kenta first thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> my in-law, my father-in-law fell from pantry. So it will be disastrous if I did not see the man before his demise. Mm. Oh, Hunter, don't so, worry yourself. I'll be here alive something. and alright. Keep quiet, I'll be here. You don't want to go. You, you, you elders are there. Say you don't want to go. Great servant of Ubu, Prince Lutana is ready to take the oath. Please, can you take us to the river of Ugugu? Hmm. Mortals. Men. Always jumping into conclusion. You make judgments without consulting your chief. Have you forgotten that you have a creator? How dare you make judgments without consulting the great Ogugu himself? I am not here to take Prince Lutanna to any river. My master, the greatest of the mortal realm, Ogugu himself, sent me here for another mission, which I have come here to do. There's been a puzzle going on in this royal household and in the kingdom at large. Now my master sent me to unravel that puzzle. Elders of our new, by default, your mission is to uphold peace. You are nominated to be great custodians of the customs and traditions of this kingdom. You are to uphold peace, maintain balance and timing. But what have you done? You allowed selfishness, ego, and pride to take over you. You have so been engulfed by evil that you have forgotten that which Ogugu gave to you as an assignment. You have gradually lost touch of your sanctity. And that is unpleasant before my master. You are supposed to lead the kings of this kingdom to all righteousness, but you have failed woefully in your duty. 
as elders. The fire that you set here is almost reaching the land of the immortals. And my master frowns at that. Therefore, he sent me to quench that fire before it reaches the immortal realm. Now, the puzzle which I have come to unravel is as a result of the king's past fact. The hurt he did in the past. That is what I have been sent here to do. Stop! Okay. I shall forgive your ignorance. I shall forgive your stupidity because of the great ordeal you have passed through in the past and is still passing through. Now, as the great servant of Ogugu himself, I command you to speak. Tell your story, O mortal. I have told you several occasions, stop calling my life. Stop disturbing me. What is your problem? I don't want to sell the land, this is by force. I don't want to sell it. Stop calling my life. You are very stupid. I don't want to sell it again. It's not by force. Okay, that land is the land I keep for my daughter. I don't want to sell it again. I've told you, don't, don't call this line again. Okay. Oh, my God, you the man of 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 the man the man of the man of the man of the man the Every time this man is stopping me about the land. What do you, I, don't, I don't know what is this man's problem. I told this man I don't want to say this and this man is stopping me. Eh? Then stop disturbing yourself. Eh? You don't want to say the land, then leave it. The man will not take it by force. You can never try it. Yeah, please. Keep him with BP. Be cool. Yeah, be cool. Stop disturbing yourself. Be cool. Come on now. Are you sure of what you're telling me? Are you really sure of what you're saying? Because this is not a joking matter. Are you sure? I'm very, very sure. I saw them killed my parents. On my way coming back from school. I saw them and I don't know what to do. I decided to hide. So how then do you know that it was the prince that sent him to kill your father? How sure are you? I overheard them calling the prince that the mission had been accomplished. If that's the case, you have to be very careful. Though. You don't have to allow anybody else to hear this. Because if anybody else says this and this matter gets to the king or gets to the prince, they will come and kill you in this house. You're still small, you're still tender. You just come and be good like pigeon. I don't know what I will do. Only you cannot stay in this house. For now. Only you cannot stay here. I would advise you now to run to your maternal home or go to your grandmother and stay. Because if you continue staying in this house, they might come and kill you. You're still small. I don't know what else to do. So I said I should let go. Eh, uh, I didn't say you should let go. You know what I'm saying? For now. You don't have the power, the capacity, to, the strength to carry this battle. You're still small. That's my own point. Just look for a way and hide now. For now, maybe later, later on, you can come back and fight for yourself or look for what else to do. I don't know. 
Just look for something and hide your head first. Because, see you now, can you battle the prince or the king? They have money, they are so influential. What else do you want that they don't have? Do you, what do you get? See where you're staying. Don't do this, so. Please. I'm begging you. It's still important to me. Pico. Sorry, 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 sorry. You're still important to me now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry now. I know it's painful, but sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's painful. I tried to tell people that he was the one that killed them. But no one. Believed a little girl. So, I went to live with my grandmother. And I vowed! I needed to be the chief maid. That was why I killed the formal chief maid. <laughs> I got close to the king. He saw me like the daughter he never had, which made his calling very simple. <laughs> that night. Put some sleeping pills in his nice tea. And I suffocated him with a pillow. <laughs> I wanted to kill Kansi. Could not do it. When the man I sent could get there, comes his mother, was already dead. When I inquired, I found out it was Prince Adam. <laughs> Come. 
Apparently, comes this madness. Is my making. My mission! Which was to wipe every single soul of this royal home. Has been cut short. Come in now! Come in You have the opportunity! The servant of Ogugu is not here to pronounce death sentence. I have done that which my master sent me to do. Aniogu is blessed with good traditions and custom. When the wise and just king is crowned, he shall decide your fate. For the kings of Aniogu are blessed with wisdom and understanding. Whatever his judgment is, that is what your feet shall become. People of Aneogu, I leave you to Ogugu's worthy vessel. Servant, servant of the great Ogugu, please, what is my son's fate in all of this? Your son has committed lots of sacrilege. I am sorry to tell you this. He is dead. No! 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 <laughs> Get ready. For Ogugu himself is about sending a new reign. You are going to crown a new king. And in the first time in history, it is going to be on a morning that is better by the full moon of Ogu. This is your mission. Abandon the battlefield 
due to previous defeat. Yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> ah, we are gathered here once again yes. for the marriage ceremony of our daughter, Kamsi. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, having fulfilled all marital rights, I will be handing over the drink to her so that uh, she will show us her husband to be. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ah, uh, daughter. Yeah, here's the drink. Uh, take the drink, eh? And go and show us your husband to be. My prince, <laughs> on behalf of members of my family, the Okonta family, I welcome you as our new in-law. <laughs> you are welcome, my prince. Yes. <laughs> uh, my prince, today is a happy day. Yes. Uh, I pray for this marriage. I pray that Chukwu Kiki bless this marriage. Yes. Your marriage shall be fruitful. Yes. You shall live long. Yes. Bueno, yeah. Bueno, yeah. Bueno. Today, indeed, the gods of our new world have smiled on us. Today is the day of rejoicing. Yes. It's a joyful day. Sure. We are crowning a new king today that will lead each and every one of us to prosperity. <laughs> so, I, Mbakwe, in my capacity as the know of this great kingdom. I'm going to crown you, Lotana, the first of your name, as the king of Anyogugu kingdom. <laughs> hey, I bless you with the blessings of our ancestors. Yes. Your reign will be peaceful. Your reign will be filled with joy. Yes. We will have enough to eat and drink. Yes. There shall be no poverty. Yes. Uh, the heir apparent to the throne after you. The God has given you already. Yes. It shall be well with you.
Twenty highway. King Lutana. Liberty. Your Majesty. You know that I cannot thank you enough what you have done, not just for me, but the entire royal household. And I believe that I owe you a lot. Your Majesty, I did nothing. I was only a vessel used by the great Oko. <laughs> I like your humility. <laughs> uh, I invited you here because I I want to reward you. Taborichi, I understand how uncomfortable it is for you. But please, relax. Eh? Tell me, just ask, whatever it is that you want, I'm willing to give to you. Go ahead, ask. Your Majesty, I, I need nothing from you. But I have a favor to ask of you. I got pregnant out of wedlock. And my father disowned me since he has refused to accept my apology. And... Your Majesty. Yes. Please, if you can talk to my father, I will deeply appreciate it. Your father is Chief Williams, right? Yes, Your Majesty. Hmm. It's fine, I'll speak to him. Mama, Thank Mama, you so Mama, much, Your Mama, Majesty. Mama. Thank you Kids. so much. Get up. Eh? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> My dear friend. Thank you very much, okay? No, thank you. <laughs> so, um, how's your daughter? She is fine. She's playing with her grandmother. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much. I hope you know that you're now a member of the family. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course Thank you are. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me see. Let me have my granddaughter. <laughs> Oh, baby, yes. you're welcome. Hmm. Please, both of you can sit down. Hmm? Baby, how are you? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Father, for accepting our apology. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chief. I... I promise to be a good son-in-law. I mean, I promise to make you proud, Chief. I know. You see, uh, I am proud of you, Dabrachi. The king told me all the things you have done so far. <laughs> you see, I am so sorry for treating you the way I did just for my selfish desires. I'm also apologizing for this little baby for calling her names even when she was yet unborn. Father, it's, it's okay. I am happy everything is fine now. Uh, young man, please, what do you do for a living? 
Uh, uh, Chief, I I lost my job some time ago. So I, I do many jobs right now. My son-in-law doing many jobs when I can help. <laughs> you see, please come over tomorrow. We have a place to go to. Thank you so much, Thank you, Thank you so much, Chief. It's okay. This time, call me Father. <laughs> Please sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you. Ask you. Yeah. Maybe. How about you? Mm.